Damn Daniel. All right, so last time I showed y'all how I made dip, hey ma'am, and watch and learn. This time I'm gonna show y'all the rest of the songs that I produced on the album, which was But, Cope, and You Win. I also co-produced uh, Whoops, which is like the outro thing, but all I did was add a bass to all of what Cole did. Appreciate y'all rocking with the first one, and I super appreciate y'all for rocking with the album. I'm not gonna talk too much about what the album is again. I already did that the last time, but. Y'all have been going stupid on those songs, and I, to, to my surprise, I, I, I do genuinely appreciate you giving it a try, you know, listen. But okay, the first one I'm gonna do is But. This is the song that's featured my boy JHB, and it started off as a promo beat. So Cole and Siren, they made a sound kit a while back called Census Sound Kit. The kit came with loops, and so all the drums I use are just strictly from this kit. So let's get to what Cole did. Cole first did this part. This is a, well, well, first of all, this is the original melody. And basically he uh, separated each instrument as stems so that I was able to cut which ones I wanted, separate them. But when I separated them, I exported them and put them into one area here. I don't really remember why I did that. I know there's points in the melody where I pitch it down for variation. And I also change up volumes of some stuff that were maybe quieter, loud. But I likely just started with the arrangement of the melody first and then got to the drums. So like I said, I was making these beats to promo their sound kit. So I was using only instruments from the kit. You can get it up. I'll, I'll drop the link in the description. Why not? And it really wasn't that difficult to do. I made like a handful of beats. This one wasn't one of those beats that made into like the promo thing. It was another one. So I started with some hi-hats. Added another hi-hat. I guess that's for more like texture. A clap, of course. A perk that goes right before the clap. I added a extra clap for layering and the open hat that comes in later. For the 808s, I use their dead chase the money one. I also use another pattern later on in the beat. Straight up called meow. I think I have even some more uh, perks that come in later on too. Yeah, some rides, a little rim hit. And finally, a Vox. It's a crow, apparently, that I pitched down low as hell. And you have what they call a beat. Now this track was something I made well before I even thought of making the album. I actually really didn't even think of making this song. Uh, it was just one day my power was out for a little, for like a long time, like for like a day or some change. I was just in my room with nothing but that lantern that you've seen in the, maybe the cover art of the single. I was like, well, I can't go to sleep. And I had this beat just on my phone already. I figured I'd just put together a song while I, until I fell asleep or until my phone died. Like I said in the beginning of the song, actually, I think I said in the song. As far as this placement on the album, like I said, energy and types of songs fit in certain spots in the album. So not everything is super duper lyric focused like some other tracks, but as far as the theme that I'm going for throughout the whole album, it made sense to me to put it where I put it. But that's that. Shadow Cole, Shadow JHB. On to... The next one, that being one I probably should have started with, the intro to the album, Cope. I just needed some type of soft way of starting the album with uh, me starting with the problem and the rest of the album is pretty much how I deal with it. Which is why the next track was things like Matter of Fact, Dip, kind of just me saying fuck all that and just trying to ignore it until it creeps in later on in the album with the next song that we'll get to. But it was a struggle trying to do this. I never really liked songs where I regularly rap, especially when I do that 
and sing later on but a shout out to siren he sent me a melody that him and cole worked on it sounded intro he sounded like a cool way to start a project oh yeah and i forgot to talk about this in the last one i think but this sound effect here i just, I just remembered who i am or tag rather this is like the third or fourth line that kaede says in danganronpa v3 um, i was going through a couple of them I forgot why. I don't know why I downloaded I downloaded hers as well as like some other characters. I forgot what I was using it for, but I ended up really rocking with it to the point where I was like, yo, I feel like this will work well with some songs that I wanted to work on. So before I worked on the album, I had this tag added, you know, delay, whatever. And um, just kind of started spamming it throughout the project. But anyways, here's the melody. I don't normally just leave these melodies by itself, like just unmixed. I do EQ them if necessary, maybe add some reverb, sometimes even add texture by using this plugin called Portal. I think it's a good way to get some variation out of just like some random sounds that kind of pan left and right in your ear. That's what I usually use it for. I only really use it to lay tab. I don't really use much of other stuff. I think you can get like some plugins or like some extra presets for this, which I'll probably find one day, but right now. No. But for this track, I wanted to go with some, I guess, somewhat realistic sounding instruments. So you're going to be hearing some boom bap -ish snares, as well as some perks, open hats. Very light. Very, as you can see, there's not that much I did to the, to the beat in general. Um, after that, I ended up finding a bass. This bass I took from Xenology which is one of my favorite VSTs for instruments. I use a pick bass a lot. Of course, they start off pretty high. This is like the main. I lower that bit down. Man, I really wish I could play an instrument, bro. Like I have a keyboard, don't know how to play it. I used to play trumpet and French horn back in the day, but I was like a damn kid. I, I probably remember how to play it, but that's not gonna help me with this. But anyway, I also added a uh, little bit of hi-hats. And when it came time to drop, I just added an 808. I think it's a short, yeah, it's a short 808. That's really all there is to it. After that, I think I added like some Kanye ass. Yeah, some Kanye ass hats to the kick. I mean, not the kick, the snare. That was all they wrote. This is gonna be a very short vid. All right, last but certainly least, we got this beat, which is for You Win. I made this song on, this is another one of those songs that I made and I kind of never promoted. I just wanted to, drop it but for some reason it was kind of doing well when i just posted it on soundcloud i gotta just be shadow dropping on there a lot well i wouldn't say a lot but anyway this is another siren melody and i heard it and i was like i had to make some off it and make a song i'm sorry rod I, I just keep stealing these melodies i'm supposed to be making beats for something else but damn it now this song was actually the reason why i ended up making this album in other words i was pretty much basing the album around this song i think it made sense for this to be an interlude because like i was saying earlier with the intro started with a problem as i continued to the project i started trying to ignore them but then but they kept coming back on me i was just feeling good what happened and now i'm getting hit with a wave of bullshit um the devil's trying to say in my head i wouldn't say this is my favorite song but i would at the same time i don't know but i do go back to this one a lot as i'm recording this there was a couple songs that you know started like being the top song for the project the first one was hooray then it was uh dip and now this song started creeping up as one of the higher up songs so i really appreciate that i have multiple songs people have been going back to and has been loving glad people like this song because this was like the most important song on the entire album though i didn't really expect it to be the most played song on the album just because of you know the subject matter but shit even to me that shit don't matter um now the original song is a little bit slowed down in comparison to this beat here's the melody And of course, 
I got to work. I think the first thing I did was the claps. Doing hi-hats and a side clap as well. Then down here, I add some rims as well as a new hi-hat pattern. Oh, Christ, and that bass. I forgot that that bass creeped in once throughout the whole beat. And I actually... Oh, okay, it's not. It's not a crow. I thought this was the crow sound effect again, but this is actually Iggy from Mario Kart 8. But much deeper and with a uh, reverb and delay. What happens with the regular sound? Yeah, whatever that nigga's saying. Then I have two 808s. Yeah. Besides that bass right there. I really fuck with this 808, because it has like some type of shaky, it's called shaky, it's some sound to it, and it's just, it's one of my go-tos, I suppose. This one is just a regular like chase the money one. And then at that point, I'm just looping. I do add a uh, another melody here, which is like a guitar that I use from Xenology, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that shit. No clue why I did that, to be honest. It didn't need it, but... Here goes the other tag I was talking about. This is from Dang Robert V3 as well. Character named Ryoma. You've still got a ways to go. I don't believe it's in other songs on this project, but I have used it sometime after and maybe before the project came out. And just like the Kaede one, it has its importance that I think will play a huge part in the next project if I go through with that. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the idea I have, but whenever I start working on it, uh, you might hear this get spammed a lot more often, maybe, it depends. I don't really wanna immediately get to work on another one because one, I have other stuff I need to do and I, I need to stop working on music. I spent a whole year just working on all types of songs. I need to take a break in a lot of more aspects than just music, but if I'm gonna do any, let me at least do the music first. I think I've done enough for for a while now even though i do want to retire and i probably should i can see me probably having some ideas like i've been having before when i said i was going to retire so don't get your hopes up for a new album or anything but i will probably be still making songs here and there or being on other people's songs people have asked me to uh work which is a good feeling you know i wouldn't have that without people like y'all giving my stuff a listen or just the people i have helping me get better at making tracks i, I really do appreciate it but this still isn't something i want to do you know I'm still a youtuber at heart and i still have you know my main channel it was really cool to have an idea for an album as if i was some type of like rapper mainstream rapper and i know this could have probably sounded way better definitely way more professional but look I'm sitting here in my room, no insulation on the mic. I'm just saying what's in my mind or on my phone and hoping that it wasn't all a complete waste of time. I'm glad it wasn't. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stream up the album. You can do all things because you can do all things. And um, yeah, I guess.